Hey, Flawless Men. So I just wanted to check in with you all really quick. Um, again, Flawless Men is something that God gave to me. And that means a man that cannot be moved by anything. He can't be influenced by his friends. He can't be influenced by his woman. He can't be manipulated by nothing, nobody, no place, no thing, no nothing. A flawless man is a man, a leader, a real true man that God has created. This flawless man is a man that has rebuilt his relationship with God and he has a covenant with God that nobody can break. That is a flawless man, an upright and an up just man. So I just wanted to check in on you all. Be sure to go over to the playlist section. We do have a playlist for flawless men. And something I wanted to talk about was just something that I just been seeing out here. Like, okay, the first thing I want to talk about is like the whole thing with Sukiyana. Men, I'm telling you right now, y'all have to be strong enough to know that women are struggling with stuff just as much as men is. But if you see a promiscuous woman or she say something wild, that do not mean put your hands on her. I know everybody have their different opinions on that. Like, oh my God, well, she did, she that. That does not mean put your hands on nobody. Like, men have to be strong enough to know that, okay, she just out here. But that doesn't give nobody the right to put their hands on them. Another thing, this conversation that's going around about high value this, high value that, low value this, low value that. Oh my goodness. With this high value stuff nobody can lose value unless god say they lose value right and a lot of the times what happen is you people just be so because i see a lot of men in generation and this ain't for the flawless man but we we just having an honest conversation bro but i be seeing men in this generation they be hating on women they don't really like women like that they be down in women that is still not helping the situation god said the man is supposed to be the leader the man is supposed to help god build the house so it don't make no sense for a man to be out here jealous of a woman. And I'm seeing that a whole lot. Like men, the men that's not a flawless man, we all need to get it together. Something else I want to talk about real quick, and I know we're just going all over, but um, I think that was one of the only things that I wanted to touch on. If a woman is vulnerable enough to express herself to you, right? I say do your extended research, whatever. Men know, y'all know better than I do. If you're talking to a girl, I know y'all probably be trying to figure out our past, this and this and that. Do not judge a woman. Do not let a good woman go through your fingertips because you heard something. She might have messed with Brody back in the day or whatever it is. Make sure you take it to God and stop using these women. Stop using these women to boost your ego. Y'all know that y'all don't be liking us. If y'all don't like them, then don't mess with them at all. I think men think sometimes they're going to get off the hook. Because, oh, I'm a man, so that means I can be out here just messing with anybody. Nobody's getting off the hook. Everybody is being judged. You don't think that God is going to have something to say to you because you would just out here keep on having babies and having babies and having babies and leading his women further astray. We've already been led astray in the beginning. Women need a leader. If you do not like that woman, that girl, leave her alone. You are not helping the situation. Get rid of the toxicity. It just does not help. We need men in this generation, like strong men, leaders that's going to do what God asked them to do. We're human. Different things happen like that. But it's people out here, men just purposely using and abusing women. The farther you go along and alone, you keep on being a manizer or womanizer, whatever the word is, you're going to eventually end up just hurting yourself in the end. If you struggle with mother problems mother problems father problems relationships abandonment it is so imperative that you get those things fixed behind the scenes with god because you're a flawless man so you communicate with him and if you need a therapy if that's where god leads you to to get those things fixed so you are not out here constantly breaking hearts it is not fair for men to just feel like okay well you know i'm a man so i get to do this there's no such thing as free will for not in I ain't gonna say free will, but you cannot just be out here still going and going. Like this be the confusion with men when they meet a good woman. Now you feel like she your mama. 
because she just being a, a virtuous woman. She just being a woman of excellence. Men, y'all have to stop projecting what happened with y'all mothers or the lack thereof. And you meet a good woman and you feel like, oh my gosh, she's trying to be my mama. We shouldn't be trying to do nothing. We shouldn't be trying to train you up in a way you should go or nothing because you should already have that wisdom. If you do not like that girl, if you feel like you're struggling with mother issues and that's something that you need to go back to and get that healed, that way you don't look at the next woman like your mother, then I say get that healed. Flawless man, I just wanted to check in with y'all real quick. There is like a few other videos in your section. We'll have other conversations to talk about. Our, our conversation just off script. They just raw conversation. Just when I think about things, I'll be like, man, let me talk about this with the men because like I said, I have male friends and men be saying different things like they feel like they don't deserve. They feel like they don't supposed to be taken care of and things like that. So I'm so blessed that God gave, has given me the opportunity to have this time with you all and just build for you all um it'll just be conversations man like i said so y'all just be real with yourselves like if that girl like i feel like this too so i'm gonna be real with y'all dudes i feel like this too i feel like sometimes y'all feel like you have to do so much to even man it's just i guess it's just like boosting your ego man keep what you got in your pants because women do not deserve that stuff that's just on period like we grown here we gonna we gonna say it, we gonna let it out there because sometimes i feel like i don't had friends or whatever and they told me like man i just do this because you know i feel like i ain't you know i'm packing down there enough so you know i just really wanted to do that to boost your ego y'all have to love yourself as much as y'all want a woman to love herself as much as you want a woman to be independent and be confident the same thing applies for you like stop using all these women doing all this wild stuff because it's going to come back on you as well like women are not just the only species here to where we're just going to be judged and different things like that the same way a woman can be a whore the same way a man can be a whore y'all don't get no pass like there is no passes being given out this like there is no passes being given out men deserve to heal as well you deserve to heal you deserve to be taken care of you deserve to be heard you definitely deserve to be respected but it is not fair for you to feel like you deserve those things you do not give those things if you do not like that woman leave her alone if you have a baby mother and she acting crazy do what you have to do to get your child do not be disrespecting that woman trying to have control over that woman oh she got my baby over there if you have a child still see your child don't let that woman hold you up at that point y'all are affecting the child now the child is growing up in this toxic generational curse it has to stop here flawless man that is a flawless man a man that has an unbreakable covenant with god an Alexis Love Beauty is a woman that will endure to the end. It's a woman that con she's equally yoked with the flawless man. It's a woman that constantly seeks the kingdom of God to know the woman that she needs to become. I know women are out here talking rough. They're talking crazy. And it don't help because your mom probably said some of the same stuff. Do not allow women to disrespect you. But that don't mean be disrespectful neither. It's so many dudes out here. They just it's just to me i'm gonna call it a sign of weakness like they want to argue with the woman they have to be right they have to get the last word like don't do that you know like i said seek ye first understand that there is good women out here and y'all know when y'all y'all be this the thing flawless men men be knowing that a woman is a good woman sometimes before a woman even be knowing she a good woman so if you and then sometimes i feel like a man is supposed to help even in the sense of build a woman up to a certain extent because we still are individual bodies but we still have our own thing to do but if you notice a good woman like i said sometimes y'all don't know that before the woman to know that if you know that do not take advantage of her have respect for yourself and for god because god is looking at everybody gonna be judged he's not gonna stand for men taking advantage of his good women and you knew it too if you see a good woman and you feel like you are not fit, just say, you know what? I can't even play with you like that. I ain't gonna even play with you like that because I already know you belong to you belong to the king and I don't even want no smoke with him for real. So you know what? I feel you. I know you're trying to talk to me and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just not the man for you right now. Do not go forth with that woman to be like, yup. Mm-hmm. Those will be other problems that you will have with God. So flawless man, this was just an off script video. Like I said, we'll be, you know, we'll be speaking to the Lord, get some topics to talk about, but in general you know heal just heal 
men deserve to heal too. You've been through three, you've been through things, you have trauma, you have different things that you're still constantly going through. Just heal. If bro in a circle, they're not getting it together, you trying to be a good man, but they still trying to have you do this, that, and the third. Like David said in Proverbs, do not go with them, or you'll be those type of men. I be watching Love and Marriage um Huntsville, and it's so crazy because the same thing happened in the TV show. This man a cheater, he cheated on his wife. And some of these men, they didn't cheat on their wife. But hanging with a cheater, eventually they was like, dang, bro, like, you good, bro. Like, you don't be getting caught or nothing. You do not, that's not the company you want to keep. Bad company corrupt good measure. If you are a man, maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you just start thinking about it like, man, I don't want to live like this no more. It's to the point to where you don't even have to even want to get married. Say you don't even want to get married. You know, every marriage is not for everybody. Even if you don't want to get married, still be a upright man. Still be a just man. Like God said in Revelation, He said, a man that's filthy, he gonna be filthy still. And God was talking about by the time he come back. If you filthy, you're gonna be filthy still. If you're an upright man, you're gonna be an upright man still. You get to pick whatever you want to be. It's not fair to it's not fair for y'all to just feel like, well, I'm just here. All I gotta do is work, take care of stuff. That is not all you have to do. You deserve to heal. You deserve communication. You deserve to have good men around you, good quality men. If you want to talk about value, men around you that's gonna say, bro, now you know that you shouldn't even be looking at her. Men, good men, other men that are leaders as well. That's what women need. If you are messing with somebody right now, you think about messing with somebody, if you spot that she a good woman, because it don't matter how toxic a man is, because I've seen this, not I heard this. It don't matter what the man be, it do matter what y'all be going through, but let me try and say this. It don't be matter what the man is going through, whether he want to be in a relationship or not, whether he want to be out here or not. Men can still spot a good woman. If you spot a good woman and you not ready, maybe she ain't on your level. You ain't really trying to go that far or nothing. Leave her alone. Do not mess with her. Because like I said, now you going to have beef with God. He going to be looking at you like, okay, so you just feel like you about to, you're going to have further problems. Flawless men, heal, do the work, become the man that you want to become. You are not nobody's footstool. You are not somebody that's just supposed to take care of stuff. If you see a good woman and you want a good woman and you are not ready or maybe she's not ready, just put the work in. Do not per do not pursue relationships that you're not ready for. Maybe you have to cut somebody off. If you have children, make sure you see your children. Don't let the children be because of the baby mama doing her so that give you reason not to see the child. You are not off the hook. Nobody is not off the hook. Everybody will be judged. Everybody will be held accountable for their actions. So, for the Alexis Love Beauties and the Flawless Men, we want to make sure our judgment has grace. So, we want to do things with wisdom. Like, okay, you know, I think we're going to work on this. I think we're going to heal this because I don't want to be that person. I definitely don't want no smoke with God. Flawless Men, check out your playlist section. You have a few videos in there. I will be checking in with you. We'll just be talking. Just having like broke conversations. Don't get me wrong. I'm a woman. I know I'm a woman. I know I'm feminine. But like I said, I've had a lot of experience with talking to men, having friends with men, you know, just hanging out with men, whatever. We grown here, whatever. And I've heard a lot of things that, you know, I just want to talk about. And I want you to be comfortable with who you are. Like, I know it's so much pressure on a man, but Alexis Love is here to give you the insight from women, how we feel about stuff, give some insight about things I talked about with men, and just possibly to help motivate you in a different way. If you feel ever led to leave something in the comment section for another flawless man, for another bro, then hit up the comment section, you know? But if you feel like you just want to watch the video for wisdom, that is okay. But a flawless man, he has a relationship with God. I know men too that be afraid of God. There's nothing to be afraid of. He made you first. Like, there's nothing to be afraid of. Get in contact with God. If you don't want to open up to no therapies, you don't want to tell nobody, talk to God. Just talk to God. You don't have to tell nobody nothing. You have a relationship with God. God is not about to be, he's not about to expose you. I think men be afraid of exposure. God ain't about to do none of that. If you feel like you got a problem with your package or whatever, he bless you with. And I be saying that because for whatever reason, that's just the main thing that I don't heard from my male friends. I'd be like, bro, just, but if you feel like that's your problem, ask God. Like, bro, like, what's, <laughs> like, bro, what's up? 
and it's beyond that like we got to stop looking at stuff like that it's about the mind another thing too with women she might not be attracted to you like that or something like that because it's not your mind so we need to work on our mind we need to forget about the body parts and what we got because that's what we get the only thing you can do is enhance that like watch the watermelon video there's different things you can do if you do you worry about stuff like that watch some other men from africa that get all tips and stuff like that but besides that it's about the mind we need to heal our mind we shouldn't be worrying about stuff like that we should be confident with what we have because at these ages that's what we got we can't get it. it it is what it is so for people that want true love you're going to love yourself you're going to love what you have then when you get with someone else they're going to love what you have they're going to love who you are before they even know what you have flawless man do your extended research like I said, this is from a woman perspective. We're going to be coming in talking. I'm going to kind of be like the bro on the videos. But, you know, just, I don't know. I love it here. I love it here. Um, I love talking to males, like I said. So, you never know. But if you feel like you want to leave something in the comment section, cool. Maybe it's something that y'all want to talk about. That's cool, too. Leave that down below. Maybe it's something you got... You want something from a woman's perspective, that's cool. But we'll be back here shortly so we can chop it up. You know what I'm saying? I'll let y'all know what's going on in the streets and stuff like that. But, and, you know, I, I got, well, I kind of got like, I mean, this is who I am. I got a little goofy side. I got like a little bro side. Not to be masculine, child. I know every time a woman try to, you know, she, oh my God, she masculine. Ain't nobody masculine. I'm just letting y'all know that. I could connect as much as I can connect because I've had a lot of experiences with men and a lot of friends. So that's what our section going to be about. The flawless men section. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're just going to be talking about stuff. We got some messages from God as well. We're just going to be talking about stuff. But I wanted to check in with y'all today. I've been thinking about this the last few days. I know we was kind of all over the place with the messages, but just wanted to talk about a few things. God bless you, flawless man. You can do it. Stay motivated. You are powerful. You are a leader. You are a man. You are a man. You don't have to disrespect nobody. You have to come out of your character for nobody. You don't have to be out here fighting to prove yourself. You don't have to be out here working 10 times hard to prove yourself to no woman or nothing. You should have it as easy just as everybody else. Period. Just like God said in the beginning. He asked Adam. He said, what do you want this to be? Adam spoke everything. You got the same power. Speak everything. Alexis loves you. Mwah.